Motivations are low. Got to get this video made. Whew. All right. Properties 1978. We got some good stuff today. The um, good stuff for me, not always good news for the client, but also educational stuff for you. But <laughs> so anyways, today I got a deflection crack. Deflection cracks are normally classified as deflection is if you have the crack is larger at the top and thinner at the bottom and also correlates with a crack through the beam on the out, out through the perimeter beam this uh, normally is related to foundation movement if a home inspector sees this he'll normally recommend a structural engineer or a foundation company to give them a plan to stop the movement from happening or getting worse Foundation movement actually can kind of occur from several issues, but most of the time in Texas area it occurs from water and that is you can see right here There's actually all the drainage is actually pouring towards the house And this could be one of the reasons why the foundation is moving another funny find is this is actually the main water supply line You could see they've repaired it at one point in time and now there is no main water shut off to the structure so right here, another find is they put in a, new, a brand new water heater, but this water heater, they added the temperature and pressure relief valve. They did it right by sending it out and dropping it down, but you don't need the 90 degree elbow shooting away. If hot water comes out and someone standing in this area has the possibility of burning them. Brought the siding all the way down to the ground. This is an easy area for termites to get in the structure. Also invites wood rot. Wood to ground uh, is not recommended. You always want a one to two, at least a two to four inch clearance. Speaking of not related to termites, you can see right here we have uh, some drill holes. They're about 12 inches apart. This is commonly related to a termite treatment. So you can see where we had the wood to ground. Even this uh, concrete base right here, they'll come up behind there. You'll never see them until the damage starts to occur on the property. We have uh, uh, the ground electro rod, it's pulled loose. This is actually a common home inspector find. Okay, walking out this unit, you can see that there's a little bit of corrosion on the top, so we know it's a little bit older. Uh, it's not too terribly old, it's a pain unit. Uh, how I determine the years, either it's normally the first two numbers or the second two numbers of the uh, uh, serial. So I got a 2007 or 2008, it's uh, the model number. It's a 13 sear, 5 ton. So the sear rating is normally the energy, it is the energy efficiency rating. And the, the tonnage is determined by normally units of 12. So we have five units of 12, which is 60. So there you go. It's a 2008, 13 sear, 5 ton unit. Okay, walking up to this patio right here, you can see that there's several deficiencies with it. It wasn't installed properly. This is probably a DIY. Um, right here, you can see that this post is not notched in properly or not even using the proper fa fasteners or brackets. And you can see the, the top board here, it's actually being pushed off to the side. And whenever it's being pulled off to the side, you can see that it's not bolted into the property. There's no ledger board right here. And that this is allowing uh, extra stress on the structure and it's causing damage. Also right here, they didn't even install a bracket on this last post too as well. Another funny find is this is the primary drain line for the HVAC system and they made it the neighbor's problem, which is just kind of funny actually. Okay, we're on the roof. You can tell this roof is newer. It still has some of the the leftover pieces from whenever they installed it, but this always bothers me is to went over the client sometimes by offering them to keep the old flashing. You could tell that this is not going to last as long as the shingles and it's gonna cause problems down the line. And I recommend to always replace the flashing if you have a new roof. This will lead to issues down the line. Okay, that's Chris with Day Action. If you have any home inspection questions, please give us a call and please always like and share the videos. Sometimes they make your job easy.